we'll get you America. We're going to kill you. Give up all your rights. I mean, give me a break. I mean, I just can't handle it anymore. <laughs> he's almost laughing when he's talking. It's, he's such a bad actor. But he's doing important work for the New World Order. Uh, let's talk to... Uh, because remember, this isn't about Muslims, even if you hate Muslims. The homeland security is for gun owners, conservatives, libertarians. Remember that. We have the official homeland security internal documents. It's all about you. You're the slave. You're the property of the bankers. They know they're committing crimes. They know you're going to resist it. So the Pentagon's watching, okay? They're there to make sure the crime continues. That doesn't mean our military is bad. It means those running it are running it for those aims, period. Our military has been hijacked, just like when Hitler hijacked the German military. And you better grow up and admit that. But, yeah, having the ADL head's grandson run around, it's just so rid And the media never talks about it, but it's admitted if you, if you drill in. I mean, it's a fact. Uh, let's talk to Francis in Canada. Francis, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. I yes, sir. If you could, uh, I was wondering if you could help me confirm or deny a rumor I've been looking into about your favorite human being, George Soros. And what I'm hearing is, is that early in his career during World War II, he was um, pushing forged British pounds for the SS. He was a collaborator with the SS. And also that he was turning in his fellow Jews to the Nazis in exchange for SS gold. Yeah, that's what Bob Chapman, I need to have him flesh that out. He's not on the next few weeks because of the holidays, but uh, when he gets back in the first of the year, or he may be on before then, uh, I can ask him to elaborate. Uh, I know that Soros is a arch criminal, posing as a liberal. And I know that uh, Madeleine Albright's dad robbed people for the Soviets in Czechoslovakia and was a war criminal. And I know that John Shalikashvili, who was the former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, I know his dad was the head Nazi in Poland. And so I do know that huge fortunes were made by some European Jews, books have been written on this, off robbing other Jews and working with the Nazis. And there's been actually some books written by, uh, one of them's a famous, we ought to get him on, uh, he's a Jewish professor in New York City. He went and actually got the documents where some Zionist groups wouldn't let Jews get out to England or the U.S. They would make them pay millions to the Zionist groups, and they'd split it with the Nazis, and only let them go to Palestine. And, and you see that with any of these type groups. You know, the leadership of all these hereditary or religious groups is always feeding on their members feeding on them, and it, it, it's just, it, it's, it's horrible. Uh, it, it's just absolutely horrible. I mean, it, it, it makes Madoff and what he did to Jewish groups look tame. Uh, but uh, I don't have any proof of that. I haven't fleshed that out. But I, I, I believe Bob. I mean, Bob's always pretty accurate here. What do you think? Well, apparently the, the, the British tried to extradite him right after the war for pushing their uh, forged British pounds. Yeah, what's your Israel? source? I mean, I'm asking. You're, you're, I mean, you're asking me. I'm asking well, I'm you. I'm looking on the Internet. I've, I've been researching this on the Internet. And apparently uh, the, the British tried to extradite him from Israel like around 1948 when it was just created. And a young Golda Meir, who was Minister of Justice, denied the British the right to extradite him. Yeah, well, you don't want to persecute a real Nazi if you find one. Uh, only fake ones for the public consumption, just like with Al-Qaeda. Don't arrest real Al-Qaeda. Arrest a 14-year-old, torture him for eight years, and have him confess to crimes they publicly couldn't have committed, crimes that were committed after they were incarcerated. Uh, but uh, specifically, did you find that in a mainstream article, or did you find a document? Because just because somebody says something on the Internet doesn't mean it's true. Well, that's what I was trying to help get you to... You know, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to not. look into that more. I'll have to look into that more. Uh, next time Bob's on, I'll... We need to, in fact, let's email Bob and remind him he's not on the next two Fridays. Uh, but when he's back, um, we need to make sure he has an email that we want to talk about that. We want, people want to know the, the, the proof in the pudding on that subject. Thank you, uh, caller. Larry, Ash, Paul, I'll take those three calls, and I'm getting into news and video clips. Stay with us. I wish a buck was still silver. It was back when the
country was strong. We got a new story up on prisonplanet.com. Chuck Norris says Obama should be impeached if he tries to enforce Copenhagen Agreement. Actor and political activist warns that globalists want to bankrupt America and kill the dollar. It is a high-powered, hardcore interview with Chuck Norris we did live yesterday. This story can wake up a lot of mainline Republicans. Get it out to everybody. Every mind you unlock is a victory. Remember, none of us have to beat the globalist overnight by ourselves. It's all of us doing a little bit every day resisting that's going to beat these people. Look at how we're fighting man-made global climate change, proving it's a fraud. They've gone from arrogantly looking like they couldn't be stopped to blowing up, crashing and burning in front of us. When we get frenzied like a wolf pack and go after these people on issues, we cannot be beaten. Let's go ahead and talk to Larry in Texas. Larry, you're on the air. Welcome. Hi, Alex. Hey, buddy. Uh, I'm sorry I've been out of pocket. I don't know if you covered this or not, the latest New London, Connecticut news about a week ago. Uh, where they're stealing everybody's private property? Well, they... Uh, about a week ago, CBS News had a... They don't even story. want the property they stole now. Yeah. Right. Pfizer said they're not going to spend a dime on developing it. Yeah, that was in my stack last week. I meant to get to it. Yeah. It's literally too painful. See, I read this stuff once, and then it's like going and visiting a dead relative's grave. I don't really like doing it. It's like, yeah, they just said, we'll take your property even if we don't use it. We have SWAT teams. They love to murder. <laughs> Yeah, they interviewed the uh, ex-mayor. He sounded pretty glum, and one of the homeowners standing in the field where his house used to stand. But, well, they uh, would do stuff like the town is so criminal that they would, this is hundreds of homes, whatever, 300. They would rev, because we had all the families on, rev bulldozers at midnight and threaten them. And then the town got the courts to, people didn't really read the Supreme Court ruling. The, the Supreme Court didn't just say private interest can have your land. They said, we don't have to pay you. And you can be made to pay lawyer fees if you don't immediately just give it up. So they come after you, you fight back, you've got to pay lawyer fees on top of having your half million dollar, three story Victorian middle class home. I mean, they've always been persecuting poor people. But I mean, this was not, you know, middle class area. And uh, they just said, we'll take what we want, we're not going to pay you. And the Supreme Court ruled that money can be given by lobbying groups to city councils, county commissioners, state houses. Bribery is now legal to pay to take your land. How do you like that? <laughs> Great to be America. Hey, uh, our county here bumps up against Louisiana, and we get the Louisiana news only. And um, Barksdale Air Force Base, where that... Uh, plane landed with missing nuke uh the, two missing nukes right the base commander that raised the stink uh they ran him off and replaced him with the uh commander from north dakota that's you right know? and and nine people involved with loading them who are witnesses all committed suicide or were murdered and that was clearly a deal where they were trying to switch nukes out and and, and claim al-qaeda got them but thank god people with the whistle but next time they'll have the right people in place to make sure that nuke goes off in america one last thing. You think uh, the people, when you tell them the truth, our fellow citizens, they may not understand it, but if you gave it to them in a sarcastic way, for instance, uh, uh, to start a, a chapter like the East Texas chapter of Boot Lickers of America, and uh, you know how that Yeah, we, 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 we worship cameras, we worship forced inoculations, we hate due process, and we burn constitutions. If we can... Uh, do like the ice cream joint and get 32 flavors of boot polish. You can uh, ask people what's their flavor. That's all I got for you today. That is smart. Now, that's a smart. Of course, it wouldn't be, really be bootleggers, but make like a fake online ad, bootleggers of America, and you can have like the 31 flavors, like take my kids, I love it, uh, raise my taxes for bankers, I love handing in my guns, I want to live like a slave in Chicago with the highest crime rate. Uh, poison my water. I love brain damaging my children. And then with a picture of a person drinking poison water. Um, cops running checkpoints.